This topic is finding the slope of a horizontal and vertical lines. So we don't technically know whether they're horizontal or vertical just by looking at it unless you plot them. So um, if I were to plot these points, one, two, three, and negative seven would be down here, and three and positive six would be up there. If you connect the dots, you obviously have a vertical line in part A, okay? Now, if you do the slope as normal with the slope formula, we have the second y value minus the first y value over the second x value minus the first x value. You get 6 plus 7 over 3 minus 3, or 13 over 0. Any number over 0 is undefined. So the slope of a vertical line is undefined, which makes sense. When you think of slope, you should be thinking of how steep something is, okay? And if you have a positive slope, it's rising up like this from left to right. If you have a zero slope, it's like an incline, right? The slope tells you how bad the incline is. Um, the higher the slope, the more steep it's going to get. That incline is going to go up higher. If there is no incline at all, then you have a zero slope. But when it comes to a vertical line, you cannot, you could walk on a flat surface, you could walk up a hill, you could even walk up a very steep hill, but you definitely cannot walk up a wall that is just 90 degrees straight up, okay? So if you can't walk on a wall going upward, then this one's the one that's considered undefined. So vertical lines always have an undefined slope. That incline is impossible to walk along. Now part B says find the slope passing through these two points. Again, if I visualize them, here I have negative two and eight. Actually, let's change these. There we go. We'll change it to that. So negative 2 and 8 is going to be somewhere up here. And positive 2 and 8 is going to be somewhere up there. And if I connect the dots, I end up with a horizontal line. Okay? If you have a horizontal line, Notice that it's a flat line, and therefore, intuitively, your slope should be zero because there's no incline at all. But if we follow our slope formula, we should get that same zero. So the second y value minus the first y value, the second x value minus the first x value, we end up with eight minus eight over two plus two which is zero over four, which does in fact equal zero. So the slope of a horizontal line is zero. The slope of a vertical line is undefined.